morning, Jacked and Nerdy fans. Jeremy here with my non-spoiler review for The Meg 2, The Trench. Before I jump into that review, though, as always, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you guys never miss out on a video. And if you do enjoy our content, please give these videos a thumbs up. It is the biggest metric that YouTube uses to promote our videos. So the more thumbs up you give our videos, the more YouTube is likely to promote our videos. It doesn't cost you a thing, so hit that thumbs up button. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump into it. The Meg 2. So, um, full disclosure, I love the first Meg movie. It is a bit of a guilty pleasure of mine and Mrs. Jack to Nerdies. We like to sit down and just uh, switch off and you know, get immersed in the movie and have a good laugh uh, with the original film. Uh, so when they said that they were making a second movie and that Jason Statham was coming back, I was already 100% all on board. Um, as the marketing ramped up, we got to find out that, okay, you know, there were certain other characters that were returning as well, which just made it even better. Um, there were a few things that I didn't know really, you know, that they showed in the marketing, uh, that I was a little bit uneasy about, um, you know, the suit, the, bi the bio biomechanical suits and things. And I thought, oh God, you know, what are they going to do here? Um, but I have to let you know, I, again, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. Uh, they, you know, um, the concerns I had were set aside, uh, fairly quickly and easily. Um, you know, they didn't go completely, um, off the deep end with this film. They kept things very much grounded in the same reality and, uh, basically just, just continued the story, um, from the original film in a way. Um, which I think they did a fantastic job. You know, they're just kind of returning to the law, returning to the story. You know, things, you know, obviously it's still a little bit outlandish that these giant, giant, absolutely giant creatures exist and what have you. Um, which, you know, to be honest though, if they did exist, oh, it wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, that's just my conspiracy theory tinfoil hat coming out. But, um, again, they, they kept this film very much grounded in the original story and original reality, which I think worked really well. Um, the, um, you know, the, uh, you know, having Jason Statham come back playing his original character as Jonas, um, the, uh, the young girl, uh, what was her name? Uh, the, the, off the top of my head, I'm trying to think of it. I can't, uh, I think it's, uh, Shriye Sophia K. I, I think I'm probably butchering the name. Um, the young girl who was in the original one, she's come back. Obviously she's a few years older, but you know, it's still the original actress, which I thought was really, really good. Um, we've got, uh, Cliff Curtis coming back. He's a phenomenal actor. I think he's very underrated. Uh, we got Paige, uh, Kennedy coming back as well as DJ. Um, but then also we've got lots of newcomers coming in, um, you know, which I thought was really good to be, you know, you got Wu Jing, uh, you got Skylar Samuels, um, Sienna Gilroy, um, you know, lots of really good um, talent coming into this that I didn't realize, um, you know, were coming in. So, Look, um, to be honest, though, they did a really, really good job with the casting. They did a really good job with the story. They, you know, um, the the beautiful scenic shots of of well, the you know, the islands that they visit, the ocean, you know, like apart from the outlandish nature of the story, it 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 is a really good franchise. I'd have to say. Um, I you know I think a lot of people have the disdain of Shark NATO and those ultra not even B grade but D grade horrible films that came out. A lot of people probably still have a bad taste in their mouth of those sorts of things and that's why they're um not quite into you know giving giving this sort of movie a a, a good shot. 
But in all honesty, I think it's actually a fantastic, a fantastic little series uh, of movies. I hope they do a third one, if I'm honest, um, because I do enjoy the cast, I enjoy the stories, and and I think they do a fantastic job. So, um, one sport, that, and I, I know this is the the um, you know on the topic of the cast and everything. Um, I know this is a non-spoiler review, but I will give away one little thing. The mighty Pippin returns. Pippin is back and feisty as ever. If you've watched the original movie, you will know exactly what I mean. But when I saw Pippin return, I was 100% on board. And my God, did Pippin do a fantastic job. So Pippin's back. Jason Statham's back. We've got three giant sharks instead of two, instead, well, instead of t- the two original ones. So, um, I look, I, I enjoyed this movie start to finish, top to bottom. I had a great time. I had lots of really good laughs. The, the, the comedy is on point with this. Um, you know, they, they got great one-liners and, and really good timing with the jokes. The action is fantastic. Um, there was only one small point in the movie where I, I caught them out, um, you know, and it wasn't even intentional. I wasn't looking for a reason to catch them out, but it was just so in your face and so evident. There's, you know, obviously just a little editing error, but there was, so there was only one point where I kind of caught them out um, in the action. But apart from that, I absolutely love this film. Like these films were never designed to be Oscar, Oscar type films. They're just designed to have a, a great time, a bit of fun. And just kind of let the audiences escape. And that's what I've done in watching the first movie and in this second movie. It's an, it's an escapist. I, I got to switch off my brain and just be in the moment and have fun. And that's what this movie is all about. I loved it. You will love it. Mrs. Jack the Nerdy will love it. Everyone will love it. Um, I think it's fantastic, fantastic, fun, no-brainer movie. That you can just switch off and have a good time. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the original Meg movie. Um, you know, were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Uh, are you going to go see this second film? Um, have you seen it? I would like to know other people's opinions on not only on this movie, but on the whole franchise. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, on the Meg and the Meg 2. And uh, again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Give these videos a thumbs up. And keep an eye out on the channel, guys. We've got heaps more reviews coming out. We've got Gran Turismo coming out next week. We've got um, the new Dracula film. We've got um, heaps of stuff coming out over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be reviewing all of it. So do not miss out on a video. Hit that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.